that was the last of my warm-up sets for rack pulls. Real close. That was the last of my warm-up sets for rack pulls. Um, implemented this movement after a couple years of taking it off. I'm really trying to grow some thick ass erectors this off season and that is the way that I best know how. Um, I'll put my bag over there for you. That middle one? That middle one? But yeah, so rack pulls. We're about to hop into the first set, 385. What I'm doing is working on progressing in weight within a rep range from week to week. So right now I'm using 385 pounds. My goal is to get between 8 and 10. And if I successfully get all those reps, I'll bump it up to 390 or 395 the following week, try to hit the same rep range. But these will leave your back toast. And I like to get them in in the very beginning of my workout just because they're so systemically fatiguing. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do these even for like the second movement. So, you know, I fucked my back up in the beginning, then I hit basically what is secondary or accessory movements for the remainder of the workout. This is really my big movement for my back. point of importance on for this is taking a big deep breath in at the bottom and as soon as, <laughs> as soon as I start going up as soon as I start the actual contraction phase of the movement I'm exhaling as forcefully as I can really helps get the weight up these help a whole lot too dead grips you bore up code dev sell yourself 10% basically what they do is you wrap them around the bar and it takes all the stimulus, a lot of the stimulus off of your biceps and forearms, specifically with pulling movements. But for things like this, you know like when you get to the point where it's not your muscles fatiguing, it's your, the grip around the bar, these completely eliminate that. Next, we have a gnarly ass drop set on lap pull. So this first back day of my split, I have two right now, it'll soon be three, but the first one, it's definitely my higher volume. So I've kind of oh shit, I've kind of implemented something that I really haven't seen in so many programs, but I feel is really beneficial for one, getting the intensity and shit, um, and then two, really like saving time in the gym. So what I do is six drop sets. You can view it as one continuous set or look at it as six different sets. But I'm taking no more than you know. 10 seconds in between each one. Really just time to change the weight, readjust my grip and go again. And I'm telling you, it is gnarly as fuck. I mean, it's the second movement of the workout and you'll feel like you could walk out of the gym right then and there. But of course we got more, um, but let's get into that. Cause this is, this is when the, the workout starts to get fun. So next thing we're jumping into, we're kind of staying around the cables, um, is four sets of five to 10, very heavy and strict cable curls with the easy bar. After that, we're gonna jump into four sets of 15 to 20, same movement, uh, same bar, all that, but we're just going at a much higher rep range. So it's failure with every set and every rep range, but we're making sure that we diversify the rep ranges Checking all the boxes in terms of what we can do with volume, intensity, RIR. So, getting a good variety in the day. Curls on the easy bar, I usually just wrap it around like this, opposed to doing all this. Um, kind of doesn't work uh, very smoothly with the easy bar, so there's a couple different ways you can use these, but the majority of the time, you're gonna wrap it around the bar like this. No. Oh. 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 
very much still in kind of my recovery phase from the show. So, you know, trying to get healthy. So everything, you know, is at TRT dose right now. With that, I'm keeping volume. I'm keeping a cap on my volume. Um, not really intensity, but frequency of training certain muscle groups and volume. It's no secret, my back is what needs to be brought up the most. Um, along with that, my biceps. Specifically, you know, like my arms as a whole, but specifically back and biceps. So, you know, once we officially start the off season um, and I have even more of an ability to recover, you know, we're gonna bump that up to three times a week. That third back day though, it won't be anything crazy in terms of volume. Um, or you know just amount of exercises what we're gonna do is probably start with adding a back movement into one of my other training days. so you know I'm getting a good stimulus stimulus on that day and progressively um, probably on a weekly or bi-weekly period or as biofeedback dictates as long as I'm able to recover we're seeing progress we will either add movements add uh, sets, um, increase rep range, something to intensify what we're doing, but um, back is gonna be hit really hard this improvement phase over the next year, year and a half. And uh, it's really dope to see, dope to say, that even just in the six weeks of recovery that I've been on, five to six weeks, I've noticed improvements in my back. So, you know, it's really dope to think, you know, once like it's really go time, once we really step on the gas, like we're gonna grow. Significant. Training session is done. Kind of happy about it, not gonna lie. I'm pretty toast. But this is the little corner that I do all of my posing in when I take Instagram story videos, just because the lighting is so fucking nice, especially against the wall. But that is what it is looking like right now. Just wanted to leave you guys with Eubora Fitness, man. That is the newest. That is the newest sponsor uh, I just picked up, man. So what they make is really tactical, useful lifting equipment. So here I have the Onyx belt. What I can tell you first off is this boy got a pad. So you don't have that uncomfortable digging in your skin. Um, it really locks in. It's a really, really solid leather belt, I wanna say. If, if the material is not leather, I will throw up on the screen what it actually is. Um, but this combined with the dead grips, which, you know, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I'm getting a portion of commission when I use, when you guys use my code, but these sincerely and genuinely have changed my back training over the last three weeks to a month I've been using them. When I step on stage next and my back is built the way that I intend it to be built, when it has astronomically grown these are going to be a vital role in making that happen so you board fitness code dev save yourself 10 percent time to grow episode three i will see you guys in the next one where we will be hitting a leg day man i'll see you on the next one